in downtown Detroit, Michigan. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Buffalo Bills taking on the Detroit Lions. Tyler Bass about ready to get us going, and we are underway from Ford Field. Here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Khalif Raymond, he might take this all the way. He will take this all the way. Touchdown, Lions. So a heck of a start to this, but we haven't even gotten settled in already in the end zone on the opening kickoff. And you know what happens, Tim? Now, now, now you got to translate what that means because I think for the team who just scored, their defense, I think they'll be more aggressive now. They'll be bolder. They're playing with a lead and an early one in some momentum. So if you're the offensive coordinator on the other side of the field, you better be prepared for some heavy pressure coming your way. They're going to try and get another big score and a big win early. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Allen off the play fake. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them. They're going to have trouble if he continues to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing into too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. Now a first carry for the brother of Dalvin. It's James Cook. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Calling no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. So now. Allen to throw it. Buying time to his left. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Here's the punter, Martin, out to kick it away. And this drive will start in enemy territory as that gets out of bounds on this side of the 50. Coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. And that's to Amon Ross St. Brown. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. That's probably as simple of a throw as he'll have all game. And good for everyone. Good for his completion percentage. Good for the receptions for the receivers. But you know how they work on that. They have footballs with no laces. So as soon as you get the snap, you're just throwing the football. All right, you're not trying to find the laces and grip it a certain way. That takes time. Just get the ball and throw it. So that's how they practice it off time now, too. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Gone. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. 11 yards there and a line first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he can... And that's a touchdown, but hold on, there is a flag down on the field. We'll have to see what this is about. A costly penalty there. A lineman got downfield, and for the moment, that cost him six points. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Goff going to shift him around. They'll set up to throw. That throw taken in by Jamison Williams. A gain of eight there on the play, and that'll make it second down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. They'll run for the first time with a speedster, Jameer Gibbs. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Sets him up nicely. First and goal. It was a pickup of 14. Oh, he 
Tried to fit it in on the slam, and it's intercepted. Rasul Douglas picks it. And the Bills are going to take possession here as they've got it at their own four-yard line. And as we've seen, points have been precious so far, and they just threw something away on that snap. And look, let's face it, as we advance further into this game, that play will be on the minds of everyone who's watching it. They wonder if this is the turning point. Is this the spot where those points were given away? It could cost them a ball game. And he'll find a little space. He gets this up near the 10. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And Diggs will have a Bills first down as he's brought down at the 17-yard line. Here's Allen. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Every now and then, you have some volleyball training actually comes into play as a defender. When a ball is tipped in the air, nice play by the defense. Got a hand on it. But when it's in the air, it's up for grabs. And too many times in this league, we've seen great plays happen for an offense as a result of a ball tipped in the air. So what you really want to do is be that guy who comes off the back line and spikes it, knocks it to the ground. Don't let him have that opportunity. So the big play nullified a legal forward pass. And maybe we know why they were able to get such a good chunky yardage on that play. That pass was illegal. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's finally taken down, and it's a big game there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. The Bills with the football as we start quarter number two. As they've got it with a first and ten. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. On second down, here's Allen. Right side, Davis. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold, or did they rough the quarterback? After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Allen now looks to throw. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. And he's brought down just outside of the ten at the eleven. They work now on second and nine. Works right side into the hands of the tight end, Knox. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and that's going to set up a tough third and nine. It's an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. Throwing his Allen on third. For a Bills touchdown. An 11 yard touchdown. And the Bills go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. You got to figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. And Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt.
he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Taken at the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. In a close game like this, Charles, those interceptions like they had on the last drive could be costly, but here they've got another opportunity to seize control of this game. And they better take advantage of it because otherwise, if they end up losing by one score, they'll relive this over and over and over until they have another opportunity to wipe it away. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trip. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Leonard Floyd in there to take him down on what will take us to the two-minute warning. Here comes the Lions punter now as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. On the return, Hardy. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. The last time out, they had to march almost the full length of the field for their touchdown. So here, much easier, Charles, with this better starting field position. I love your sarcasm, but I love even more your observation because, look, what they did last time out, now with a shorter field, they should have a lot of confidence that they're going to put more points up on the board. Allen looks to throw on second down. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Taron Johnson made the stop. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. To throw is gone. Setting up the screen. This is Gibbs. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now Goff looking to change the play. On first and 10, here's Gibbs. And they'll get him down right around the 16. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern-day NFL defensive tackle, but what he lacks in size, he definitely makes up for in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. Back to throw, Goff. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field, it's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. On third down, here's Gibbs. And the tackle made at the 13. He is well short of the first. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. Badgley able to knock this one through. And they bump the lead up to four now at 10-6. So Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game, and they make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't 
can't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense, the firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by Kirby Joseph. I'm um, pulling the Josh Allen special too much. It was actually going well too. I've been smooth for so long, I'm trying to get rough.